Jocelyn, you're so hot right now. Yes, yes, work it, work it, work it, work it, yes. Hello. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. And uh, uh, well, I, uh, this, I don't, we haven't come up with a name for this person yet. I was thinking about the name Jocelyn. What do we think? So, uh, as you probably gathered from the thumbnail, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I actually have had this weird, I'm sorry. I'm talking about you as if you're not even here. Oh, sorry, please forgive me. You're creepy looking. I found Jocelyn on Amazon a while ago. And as I looked today to, to make this video, I was looking at the price and there are way cheaper versions than Jocelyn out here. You an expensive bitch. It's expensive to look this expensive. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at this skin. Look at this flawless canvas we get to work with, people. <laughs> jo Jocelyn was manufactured by Mayron. And I saw this and I was like, that's meant to put a hat on or a wig on. And then it said makeup. And I was like, hold on, rewind, wait a second. This thing is, you're supposed to put makeup on this. You have no eyebrows. So this was $36.05. I know, weird, right? I don't know what's up with the five cents. But I found some that were like $11 and that had the same reviews. So I either didn't do my research very well or I don't know. They came up after and like somebody ripped it off. By the way, look at my nails. Look at my nails. See what I did for you guys today? I tried to match my makeup. You like that? You like that? So yeah, I, I just thought this was a really odd thing. And I was like, is, okay, do people actually use this to put makeup on? There are lots of reviews. So apparently people are using something like this in makeup school to put makeup on. I feel like your makeup school needs to get a bigger budget for that and have models come in. I used to model for mud makeup um, when I was younger and I would come in and their students would do the makeup on me. This, I just like, it doesn't even really feel like skin. Like you feel like plastic. Ow, shit, you got a hard head. <laughs> she actually didn't come with this stand. This is my wig stand, but I was like, what am I gonna do? Like hold it like this? Like this is how Ryan holds me too when he does, tries to do my makeup, he's just like, and I'm like, you're holding my entire face. So uh, apparently people actually use this to put makeup on. I got this in the mail and it's literally been in my office for about four months. And finally I was like, you know what? I should uh, do a video with that because it's really weird and I wanna know if it actually works. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. We're gonna use some ColourPop concealer to conceal the eyelids. Oh my gosh, you're so pink, look at you. I don't even have a shade for you right now. Excuse me, I have to hold your neck. I know it's weird. It's blending out like real skin. All right, so we're getting this on here. This is blending out like it would on real skin actually. So that's interesting. I think I put too much product. You don't have a whole lot of eyelid space to work with. We're gonna set this with some Huda Beauty setting powder. Oh my God. Working, it's working. So today we're gonna use the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette because it's the best palette that's ever been made. No, I'm just kidding, but but it's pretty dope. We're gonna do a nice smoky warm eye today. We're gonna go in with Stay Gold right here. And the reason I'm using this palette is because I've used this palette so many times that, and, and I know it's freaking awesome. I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but we did a really good job on this palette. We put a lot of love into it. So I know that it goes on well, and I know what it looks like, like the back of my hand. So if it doesn't look the same on Jocelyn, we'll know it's her. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. That look, hey, that looks pretty good actually. There's a lot of fallout, but, and uh, it's not soaking up as much of the pigment as I would like, but it's not bad. We're gonna give you a little halo eye. Let's just go ahead, pop that right here. So this is like good if you don't have anyone to practice on maybe. How does that look? How, how are we looking? I wish I had that lower lid space, Jocelyn. You're killing it, You're killing it. Okay, there's this like weird crease in your eye. Like it looks like, the door smashed your eye. I don't know what happened. <sighs> We're gonna go in with LCW right here. I wiped off my brush. Gonna do this on the outer edge. It's not awful. Less shitty than I thought it was gonna be. The one cheaty thing about this though is that it's really easy to blend things out and it's not as easy when you're working with a ball sack eyelid like my husband's. That's a good one to practice on. Okay, we gotta make sure these are even. Like that just like blends itself out. Like, 
<laughs> There's literally eyeshadow everywhere though. It's like up here, it's on your forehead. It's underneath. Good thing we didn't do the foundation yet. How are we looking? I'm gonna take, oh, geez. I just dug into this with my nails that I'm not used to having. We're gonna tap that right back in the center. A smaller brush going into LCW again to mimic this on the lower lash. That's the stuff. See, that just blends too easy. Too easy! It's not like that in real life. People's eyes don't look like this. There's excess skin. I hate you and your perfectly blendable eyelids, big frickin' hoe. Gonna go back in with Say Gold. I feel like this is gonna give people false experience because it's so easy to blend in. People also use these for face painting, which I could see that being very useful. Although once again, people's skin isn't, aren't this tight unless you're doing someone's makeup that's like five years old. We're looking good, we're looking good. We're gonna take Leo from the palette, which is a really rad duochrome. That shade though is like my life. It's just so pretty. Eyes are, uh... oh my God, we have to put eyelashes on. Jocelyn, do you want some eyelashes? You do? Yeah? Okay, cool, we'll make it happen. You know when like a friend comes over and they're like, hey, can I borrow some eyelashes? And you're like, do you know how expensive these are? And But you're saying that to yourself in your head and you're like, here you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, how am I supposed to open this with these nails? I don't know how people do life with nails. I really, just really don't know. You're gonna get the whole thing because I don't know where my scissors are. I would tell you what lashes these are, but I don't actually really like these lashes, so I wouldn't suggest them. Ugh, you owe me more glue. Really hard to put lashes on other people. Hold still. <sighs> you look amazing. We're gonna put some foundation on because you look really pink. It's something that can be corrected. We gotta match your chest. You don't have one. We're gonna give you some, I almost said shart. Tart! Actually, I learned how to say I have to shart in German yesterday, and I can't remember it now or else I would say it for you. But if you know, leave it in the comments. We're gonna bring you to a lovely shade of not what you have. Okay, this isn't really going on like. Like, do I have to put foundation all the way back there? No, 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 no one's gonna say that. Okay, this is, ooh, weird. It's like way more full coverage than this on actual. We're gonna go right over the eyebrows. Just paint that noggin. Does, are we help? Is the color, are we doing anything? I'm not sure, we're gonna keep going. When in doubt, add more. Don't forget the neck. Other YouTubers are doing celebrities makeup and I'm doing Jocelyn's. Need some concealer like the beauty gurus do. A little triangle. Actually, we're not done. Let's get a lighter color. Let's get a lighter color, you're right. More is more. Let's try a beauty blender, shall we? That's the ticket. Dab, dab, dab. No wiping, no, because then it all slides off. Should have done this before I put the lashes on. That would have been a good idea. I didn't know we were going full glam, but we are, so. Setting powder. You're a little shiny. Okay, Jocelyn, listen up. Your brows, slightly offensive. Let's fix this. I'm gonna try this weird little brow product that I have. This is called Perfect Fill Brow Marker. It's got these like little chunkies on there that give you little hairs. Ooh. <laughs> Better than what you had. Following your natural brow shape. You kind of look sad. What happened? Brow marker is turning a weird color on you too. Let's try, ooh, you smell weird. You smell like my toys when I was a little kid. Let's try the Lorac. Pro, you're, whoa, you're ruining my brow pencil, but that's okay. Oh my Lord. These grooves in here are not making this easy. They're also tearing up my eyebrow pencil. I swear I'm better at doing people's brows than this. Sorry, Jossie. Looking real good. I've let you down. I have let myself down. <sighs> Your eyebrow area is not the easiest to draw on though. Don't get one of these to practice brows. Cause <laughs> let's try and do a little cleanup on aisle Jocelyn's face. Little brow, little brow carve out. I don't know if it was worse before or now. You're gonna need brow surgery. All right, you know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna contour your face with the Tarte uh, Park Ave Princess. I love uh, this palette. 
We got all the skin tones here. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Oh yeah, so easy to blend in. Look at that. We're gonna carve you like a frickin' Halloween pumpkin. Oh yeah. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Oh, this is making me feel much better after that brow situation. I think you need to bake. See what that's doing for your look. We're baking, we're baking. Your forehead's looking just a little bit big. Not too bad, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna highlight the center of the forehead with the matte highlight from this palette. The nose. You are really looking sweet, my friend. I'm gonna contour that schnozzola because it's so freaking big. Oh, oh yes. Also, I'm gonna make your jawline. Next, we're gonna do highlight. We're gonna use what I have on right now because I'm obsessed with this BH Cosmetics palette right here. It is so good. We're gonna do this one right here. Oh, wow. Ooh, so much yes. This looks so good. Look at it, look at it, just look at it. Next, we're gonna do some blush. We're gonna use a bright one. This is Ofra's Blush in Punch. Oh yeah. This is your shade, girlfriend. You look so good. I can only do my own makeup as well. <laughs> Except the eyebrows, the eyebrows. Mm. Is that one nice? Oh, geez, sorry. You need a little bit of lip liner. Overdraw those lips. Cover up your little herpy. Ruining this too, with your hard face. Did I just put it all over? I, I don't know. Oh yeah. I hear you, Brixton. I'll get you a salad in a minute. My rabbits are throwing around their bowl like, hey, hey, did you forget about me? I need a salad, I need a salad. Who is she? Look at Jocelyn. She has really come to life. Oh wait. I got something for you. I know you don't usually like colored hair, but I thought it would be a real nice addition if you had some hair. Oh my goodness. You look amazing. Actually, you kind of look better bald. Let's uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. Do you feel better? Do you feel beautiful? What do you guys think of Jocelyn's look? Pretty fun. I will say that this is pretty fun to put makeup on, but I would say that it is more for a child because <laughs> doing this, that, I don't feel like it really gives you the practice you need. I feel like you need to practice on a face. But this was really fun to do, and it's so easy. Like, look at that contour. Like, it's so easy to blend out. It's like seamless. Whoa, 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 whoa. okay. Okay, her wig is snatched. So here's the final look on Jocelyn. I feel like I just said that this would be something for maybe a child, but I can't really see this working for like beauty makeup. Maybe face painting? Um, definitely you can't do any eyebrows on this cause it's got little notches in the plastic and uh, yeah, but you know, it, uh, it the foundation set pretty well and everything blended in really nicely. So, but I feel like you're better off uh, actually doing this on someone's face because it's gonna be so different when you do. Um, some things are harder about this and some things are easier. That's my weird video for the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I was gonna say, let me know in the comments below if you ever get one of these, but I don't think you will. But if you want to, if you have somebody that you think would really like it, then I will leave it linked in the description box below for you. But um, yeah, I'll also leave some of the other cheaper options too. But thank you, Jocelyn. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've been such a great, uh, a uh, collaborator on my channel today and you look beautiful. Hopefully you have somewhere to go after this so you don't just have to wipe it off and go to bed like I do. Bye guys, we'll see you in the next video. I can't see a single pore in your face. Like it's so smooth. That is fun. I'm obsessed with your skin. Look at that skin. You have some herpes going, what is that? What's... Maybe we're on the same menstrual cycle because <laughs> it's not you, it's your brows. Don't look at me like that.